apparently there's a booklet that tells all the little hot springs across the United States. And some people will come and travel the United States just to come to these spots. Hi, I'm Chris Allen with The Long Way Home. We're out here in the middle of Box Elder County, Utah, at a little place called Stinking Springs. We understand by local lore that this is a place to heal your wounds and maybe some cuts and bruises and uh, a little bit of soreness. So let's go in and see what is happening at Stinking Springs near Corinne, Utah. Tell us why you come out here. Well, at this point, I come out here because this water is a true blessing. It's healing um, in many ways, not just physically. This is a special place to come to. That's why I come out here. So, so they call it Stinking Springs. I, I, I wouldn't say that smells like a rose. No. Tell us why it stinks. The sulfur content is extremely high. It also has approximately 100 other minerals in it. The reason why there's no roof anymore on the place is because of the amount of sulfur that comes out at the opening. It's not good for to be kept in. It can actually be bad for the body if you do that. It started out, apparently, this is the old lore, the Shoshones used to camp here. They lived just over there. And they used to call it their um, sacred water. And then the railroad came through and the Chinese found it and used, utilized the waters. And then probably around the time of Teddy Roosevelt, it used to be on the other side of the road, but they built these pools over here. There was a woman that owned it, the fairies, I believe. She uh, either deeded it or put it in her will that this had to remain open to the public with no commercial use. And so that's why it's still here. And we have people that come from actually all over the world here. What was it, 15 years ago, I broke both my ankles and it just, you know, from scar tissue and stuff, I had got to the point where I couldn't walk. And I was telling her and she says, come out. And by the end of the summer, I was walking three miles. And before, I couldn't even walk to the end of our driveway. Wow. So, so there's something in it. So you think that's a result of the of the minerals, or is that a, a result of the heat, or both, or what do you think? Both. There are a lot of people that come here that believe in natural healing, um, spiritualists. Of course, we get the party crowd occasionally, and they like to write mess it up but it's a community effort there are those of us that will come out and scrub the pools a little old man who gathers cans when the garbage is full will take the full garbage and put a new bag in it any other advice or anything else you'd give to folks that might be watching um great place to soak very rustic um open mind yeah you have to have an open mind it is known to be clothing optional um <laughs> When you wash your clothes, wash them with baking soda after you leave. Don't wash them with your other clothes. <laughs> the sulfur is very strong. Bring a towel, drink a lot of water because this does help bring the toxins out of the body and you'll want to flush them out instead of let them fall back into other places. But it's, it's wonderful, soothing water. The skies out here are amazing, especially around sunset. And there's just something very special about the land out here even, I believe. My sister actually researched the algae, and we found out that it has antibacterial properties. So we make um, face masks out of it. Both of our sons are at the age where they have acne. We brought them out here and put that on, and it was gone for two weeks, the acne. Really? Yeah. Wow. And so the water itself actually has antibacterial properties. Some people get grossed out, they look at it, they think, ew, dirty. Actually, this water, I researched it, it has it, no harmful bacteria can live in this water. And that's not just because of the sulfur, because the sulfur certain bacteria can live on, but it's because of the salt content that this water has as well. So you can get in here, there's nothing you can catch in this water. <laughs> Fair and enough. It, and it goes through and recycles itself. My son figured it out by the volume and everything about every hour and a half. You know, sometimes the answer to health problems are the most simplistic, They're right? Natural. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's a blessing. This, this water is Mother Earth's bless, blessing from her womb. It really is. Well, that's great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.